I'm Steve Fisher, and I'm your 2023 OKA president. I'm excited to join you today via video to give you a quick update on some of the exciting plans we have for 2023 uh, in support of education and advocacy for the kinesiology profession. Just this last weekend with our board of 12 volunteers, we had a chance to get, get together, uh, brainstorm, plan, and put together what I think is a really exciting and active program for 2023 uh, that hopefully serves two broad objectives. One continues to provide amazing and incredible education opportunities for you, our members, and two, continues to advocate strongly for the greater inclusion of kinesiology across the healthcare continuum. So what I want to do today, again, is just spend a few moments and orient you to the, some of the exciting things that are, that are happening here in 2023, and it's my hope that myself and my fellow board members will we connect with you every month with these video updates to keep you in loop and, and keep you updated on some of the progress moving forward. So quickly, uh, just to recap on our education platform this year, really excited to announce that we're bringing back our in-person uh, professional development summit. So March 25th, it's a Saturday, mark your calendars. Humber College, uh, the OKA team is really excited to have a, an excellent program in partnership with Humber, which will include some wonderful keynote lectures, uh, a number of hands-on opportunities, and uh, a presentation from the WSAB. Uh, on updates to the, the MSK programs of care. For, so for those of you in that vein, definitely a, a must, uh, must attend event um, to learn more about what the, what the WSIB is moving forward with, doing moving forward with programs of care. In addition to the exciting in-person uh, conference, we're also looking to expand our webinar program. So over the last few months, you've noticed we've had a, a we're trying to aim for one to two webinars a month. Uh, again, moving forward into 2023, our commitment is to try to hit about nine webinars. So a webinar every month, you know, except for the summer months and maybe December when, when folks are otherwise focused. What we're trying to do this coming year is put these webinars into themes, areas of practice. So helping folks develop some con continuity in skill development, which we're really excited about. Uh, and working with our In One Touch um, membership registration platform so that we can issue certificates of completion as well so that you... You can indicate to your employer, to the college, whoever it might be, uh, that you've attended these events and you can have those con continuing education uh, um, evidence pieces there with you, which I think is really exciting. In addition, we're launching a podcast series. So taking a shot in the podcast space, uh, we have mapped out um, our first season, which will include six podcasts. So we're really excited to launch that through this year. Some engaging conversations with fellow kins, learning a little bit about different perspectives on different aspects of practice. Uh, and really, really meant to be a conversation around kinesiology and, and the different ways we engage as practitioners. So I'm really excited for that. Stay tuned. Uh, we're really excited for this, for this uh, six series podcast. Now, switching gears on the advocacy side, one of the things that's uh, over the last few years um, through our advocacy work, it's become quite well uh, acknowledged that health spending accounts have increased substantially. And it's important, I think, for our kin community to know that over one out of every two individual working individuals probably has a health spending account. And why that's really important is as registered health practitioners, kinesiology expenses are certainly um, eligible in a health spending account, which is fantastic for all of us kids here in Ontario. But the question is, how do we access those dollars? Um, what can we do to help our clients understand if they have health spending accounts or don't health, have health spending accounts? And how do we engage to, to access those funds? So we're really excited in 2023 to put together a campaign to help you understand how to better navigate the health spending account space so that we can get some of those existing you know, third party payer dollars uh, funneling through so that we can support our, our clients and patients and accessing our kinesiology services. So we're really excited and that's stemming directly from some of the work we've been doing over the last few years uh, advocating in the third, uh, third party uh, payer space, insurance companies, etc. We're also really excited to return to Queen's Park Day. So, for uh, a number of years prior to, to COVID, we had an opportunity to spend some time at Queen's Park uh, chatting directly with uh, our MPPs, advocating strongly for the inclusion of kinesiology in, in a variety of ways. So we're really excited in 2023 to return to that Queen's Park Day. And broader in terms of our uh, government initiatives is really trying to hone in and pitch a clear message to government officials about how we as a kinesiology community can really help address the human health crisis that's arisen uh, as we've kind of meandered through COVID here. So trying to create more opportunities, create more spaces for kinesiologists to get engaged uh, across the health continuum, whether it's 
primary care in hospital settings, out in the community, wherever it might be, um, creating more opportunities for us as kids to, to reach and navigate into that space. Lastly, I just wanted to mention, uh, we're also really excited to launch communities of practice this year. So our first community of practice uh, being led by incoming president Matthew Mendez uh, will target kinesiologists working in primary care settings, primary health care settings, uh, family health teams, uh, grow, as, as health teams kind of continue to grow in this new landscape. So we're really excited to have that opportunity to build some structure, build some organic, uh, organic discussions and information sharing. Some of our early work as we're preparing this has already helped to create connections and contacts that have been used to share resources and ultimately budget models for how some family health teams have been able to get kinesiologists funded within their family health team. So that model we're now able to share broadly through our growing community of practice in, in primary care. Uh, and it's creating more spaces, more jobs for kinesiologists. So really excited about that. So again, uh, I do appreciate your time here and for taking some time to learn a little bit more uh, about the year. Again, my name's Steve. I'm really excited to be your OKA president uh, for 2023. Please reach out if you have any questions uh, and stay tuned for later, later in February uh, when my colleague Savita, uh, our OKA vice president, will be sharing the next update and giving you some, um, some insights on where we are as we're leading into the in-person conference and how we've been progressing with some of these initiatives. Happy 2023, everyone. Thank you for being a member of the OK, OKA and look forward to uh, connecting with you in the near future. Thanks.